9,000 students, 900 teachers, 17 contests. Welcome to the Tarleton Invitational in Stephenville, the largest FFA judging practice in the nation. You're just looking for that like perfect animal. You're looking for muscularity, correctness, and different things like that. You're also looking for things that are wrong. Students from all over Texas descend on Tarleton State University once a year. Armed with only a clipboard and a pencil, they get a chance to judge cattle, goats, sheep, swine, and much more. But judging isn't limited to just livestock. There's also poultry, vet science, floral arrangements. The list goes on and on. Students have a chance to hone their skills before competing in their area contests with the hopes to eventually win state and even nationals. We started 43 years ago and we thought we had a, a huge contest. We had almost 600 kids here in three different events. And today we've got uh, 9,000 plus in 17 events. And so it's just been a pretty steady growth over the years. Judging competitions are just one of FFA's career development events or CDEs. The goal is not just to learn how to pick out a quality animal, it's also to take what they've learned in the classroom and put it to work, teaching students skills and lessons that help them grow as a person, whether or not they continue in agriculture. You have to be responsible to kind of practice so that you can, you know, become better and just leadership because you have to lead your team and just being a team member in general because you have to work with others and encourage them. Hours of preparation have gone into the event, both for those putting on the contest and the students. Contestants don't just show up, they have been training for months. And in the span of a few hours, that training is put to the test. We've been working since December on this team uh, here in Poultry and with my meats team. And we work twice a week for about an hour and a half, two hours of school. So they probably put in 50 to 100 hours or more preparing for these contests. The experience will help these young men and women prepare for their next contest, but more importantly, it will help them prepare for their future. For TFB News, Gary Joyner, Stephenville.